I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Velocities in Music, the best kept secret in music reviews. Tom, we don't review as much punk music as we should. Okay. I, I'll, I, I'll I agree really, with that. I really believe that. We mm -hmm. should find more punk bands uh, to review. And really, punk bands that experiment. Because mm -hmm. we're into experimental music, whether that's mm -hmm. rock or pop or indie or whatever you want to call it. Experimental, pushing the boundaries of music, originality, that's what Velocities in Music... Blurring genre yes. lines. Yes, that's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. So one of those bands in that, in those kind of contexts is uh -huh. No Age. Mm -hmm. They like to blend ambient music and punk, mm -hmm. which are two really obscure genres to try to mm -hmm. push together, but somehow No Age has made a name for themselves in doing, mm -hmm. in doing this, in, in making ambient based punk music, punk music that doesn't follow the typical punk structure, which is pretty monotonous after a while, mm -hmm. after it's been done for 30, 40 years now, um, of just doing verse, chorus, verse, chorus, really fast beats, really off beats, sloppy, you know, all that. <laughs> yeah. they, they don't do that. They, they apply, you know, a bigger sense. They, they look mm -hmm. at the big picture. They try to, you know, do something really creative with an, uh, a sense of uh, a lack of structure. Um, and their fourth album, An Object, uh, just released. Tom and I are going to review it for you. This album, um, we reviewed everything in between their previous album, which came out in 2010, so it's been a number of years now. One of our earlier reviews. Yeah, and we actually Definitely. liked that album pretty yeah, well. Yeah, uh, quite a bit. I think um, we gave it a low 80s. A lot of great score. melodies on that, uh, just catchy tracks in general. Mm -hmm. Just caught our ear, we liked it, and now three years later we have An Object, which is an album that just feels and sounds very, very different. It does. How would you say this is a diff the difference between everything in between and An Object? It's not as layered and it's not as big sounding as is the first thing. Everything in between, I, I mean, they're definitely going for a lo-fi kind of punk, post-punk vibe, mm -hmm. but uh, but everything in between still had a very stereo feel to it, a lot of layers. Now, th those layers are produced to sound very lo-fi, to sound very gritty, uh, very grungy, but um, but there's, there's still some sparkle to them, there's still a lot of movement, where I feel like these, they really stripped everything down to the most basic components of the tracks that they possibly could. I agree. Uh, that's the big difference to me. Um, from from there, you know, you kind of just have to move to the melodies and the songwriting and how they're constructing things like that, rather than just how they're choosing to present them. And I think that there's a difference in that too, but but almost not as not as much. Mm -hmm. I think that they're staying a little closer to home as far as just how they're putting these together. I think that they are trying to get a little more variety track by track. Mm -hmm. um, I would say everything in between maybe flowed a little bit better, but even didn't explore quite as many ideas as no, an object. No, no, absolutely not. An object takes you know their their palette and they go mm -hmm. everywhere with it. They're, yep. they're, oh, we're going this direction. We're going this direction. We're going every this direction. corner of the room. Yeah. Uh, under the rug, you know, yep. that they, of their sound. And, and, and it's like where you got hints on everything in between. You you mm -hmm. got hints of these ex more experimental tracks. Uh -huh. um, there are definitely a couple that we noted they weren't our track picks. You know, go figure. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. now looking at an object, they they took those more experimental tracks and ran in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, um, what you have on an object is 11 tracks that are just more experimental in nature, um, but they don't really follow any context or formula or set mm -hmm. of rules. They're just ideas, and you know, No Age historically has never had songs that really peak over th the three minute mark. Three mm -hmm. minutes is about the average track length of any No Age song. There's only one song um, on, on this album that goes over four minutes, yeah. and it's the last track, which is in, in arguably the most experimental track on the album. Mm -hmm. um, but really what these songs are is you know I Tom and I before we turned the camera on I was comparing this to Tricky's False Idols two totally different genres but how they set up the album is very similar in that you have very short track lengths that each explore each track substance explores a new idea and what you have there is is so you know on one of these tracks you may have just an ambient setting mm -hmm. and there may be guitar driving it but there's usually not a lot of structure no verses no choruses it's just one fluid kind of three minute sonic experience, um, and that's the musical idea. They're very tactful in how they approach it, and they end the track moving on to the next musical idea. Mm -hmm. you, on one track, you might have a more punk structure um, where you might actually have drums, and there's other tracks here where they drop the impact of the drums and vocals out, and they focus on the guitar elements. Um, and it's, it's just a matter of which idea they're featuring on mm -hmm. each different idea. Each, each idea being a no, track. No, I, I totally agree. Now, I gotta come out and say this album didn't quite do it for me. I'm gonna be a little bit of a downer on this one. Uh, and I listened to it several, several times, and it just never really clicked with me. I never came off of this album uh, 
really with anything to stick with me. It's not an album that I was really thinking about or wanting to come back to when I wasn't listening to it. And more than anything, you know, you, you mentioned that you have two big genre components here, you know, with some other ones here and there, but the big ones you mentioned were punk and ambient. And ambient to me, now this is a very simplified kind of overgeneralization, but roll with me here. Ambient music to me focuses a lot more on mood. Punk music to me focuses a lot more on energy. But out of this album, I didn't get an overwhelming amount of either. Right. There wasn't really a mood that appealed to me consistently throughout the album. Maybe it was because they were experimenting so fragmentedly with each track. Mm -hmm. um, but also, there wasn't really enough energy to draw me into the album as a whole. I actually felt like everything in between had a good blend of both of those. Yeah, that's and, true. And you know, you, you had written down or maybe mentioned to me that, that some of this reminded you of My Bloody Valentine. I totally agree. I see that influence. And I think I think that Especially my in the guitar. Yeah, I think that My Bloody Valentine is a band that fuses those two elements perfectly between point. the mood and the energy of the guitar and drums that are just driving the whole thing. You get moments of that here, but they're so few and far between that I don't feel like they've ever established enough for me to be sucked into this album as an album experience. Now, that being said, there are some really good tracks here. There are some tracks that, that stuck with me a little bit, um, but they're short-lived and then you're on to something else that maybe isn't quite as memorable yeah so it just it, this album was really tough for me to latch on to i think people who maybe get into this sound a little more than me are inevitably going to like it but uh, i like the ideas i just didn't necessarily like the direction and the extent to which they took them yeah and i'm definitely higher than you on this mm -hmm. one tom and the reason is is because i really enjoyed the direction that they took this mm -hmm. i like experimental music i like when bands are willing to push the envelope these guys do and i and i feel like that the the overall quality of most of the tracks on this album is is relatively high now the problem that i have is when you set up an album like this and you have you know a certain number of tracks anywhere above 10 of, mm -hmm. of very short tracks that don't really establish themselves yeah. as like big pieces of intricate music it gets taxing after a while unless your strategy is to really really present professionally produced and and, and developed ideas on each track. There has to be some sort of theming. There has to be some sort of center to bring the listening experience home. Mm -hmm. And this this album and object just simply does not have that. It feels like a compilation, just a string of three minute experiments. And mm -hmm. and and that's what this album is when it comes down to it. That brought the album down a lot for me. Um, but still, I really like a lot of the guitar here on this album. I still get a lot of of. I think that from a mood perspective, mm -hmm. I just the moods resonated a lot more with me. There's definitely mm -hmm. that makes some, sense. definitely a lot of tracks here where I enjoyed the mood. And that energy, um, I, I feel like could have been enhanced to a little bit, a little bit less on um, focus on the lo-fi production, which doesn't make a lot of sense. If this would have been produced a bit more pristine, I think that you could have gotten a little bit more um, uh, you know, resonance in the instrumentation that makes it easier for the listener to connect to it. Um, but overall, I think that this band is doing a lot of cool things. This might necessar not necessarily succeed in mm -hmm. every way, but it does a lot of good things. I'm going to go 72. I'm going to go 63. So, that averages out to upper 60s for mm -hmm. us, which is a good spot for where this album's at. There's definitely, this. I, I would just, I'd be willing to say this is not as good as, as everything in between, mm -hmm. um, and not No Age's best work. However, it still has a couple of really good tracks on it mm -hmm. that I think that you guys should definitely check out. When you do, please leave us a comment at www.velocitiesinmusic.com or youtube.com slash velocitiesinmusic. As always, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and let us know what albums from 2013 you've been into lately and would like to see Tom and I review. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV, moving music critique forward.